So here I have my 23andMe genetic testing kit, and I am going to take the plunge on camera and uh, just like find out all about me. I'm such a girl, I don't even know how to spit. Oh, nasty. I guess, I love that though, I mean really, like this is what it takes to get a full genetic profile. Not so bad. So all I do is mail off that little box of spit and wait for a full report on my genetic history, ancestry, and potential diseases. That would have been unthinkable just a decade ago, and it's just one example of how your health is getting more personalized every day. Whether it's a wristband that tracks your calories. It's got five LEDs on it, so if you tap it, it actually tells you your progress against your goal. But what's also important about it is that it uses Bluetooth 4.0, so it wirelessly syncs in the background to smartphones. A toothbrush, an app that measures your brushing habits, or even a fork that makes you eat more slowly. The demo fork that we have here has been pre-programmed on a 10-second interval. Uh, and it basically means that if I'm putting food in my mouth under 10 seconds, it will vibrate. Too and soon, I too soon. The tech is enabling a trend that some call the quantified self. The idea that you can gather data about your health, your habits, and your history. The benefits can be far-reaching. With more accurate, aggregated data, doctors could provide better care, even possibly preventing more serious diseases like cancer and diabetes. I visited Paris-based Withings, where the company's internet-enabled scale lets you keep track of your weight, share the information with your phone, and create a database of your behavior. So you see uh, now my weight on this scale, and in some seconds, I will receive a push on, on my uh, iPhone, okay. who will indicate this, uh, this measurement. This scale can work both in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Okay. So this is uh, the last measurement I made, 75 uh, dot something kilogram. And so it will be added to, 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 my, to my curve. Oh, wow. They've also built a phone app that connects to a blood pressure cuff. You just uh, connect it uh, on, uh, on the iPhone. Oh, that's cool. And it starts uh, automatically the application. Mm -hmm. And then you just press uh, start button and it will start the, the measurement. That's awesome. It's, it's pretty good. high. Probably because you are not uh, sitting, sitting and somewhere and uh, like because you are... And so it's not just the monitoring, it's the fact that once you have all of the data in one place, you can see patterns yes. and you can... Yes, yeah. uh, and you can share, with your, you can share it with your, your doctor. Right. Now we've seen plenty of heart rate monitors, but here's an app that detects your heart rate using your phone's camera. This one comes from Azumio. Here's how it works. When the heart beats, blood is pumped into your face, which causes it to change color. The camera can pick up this information and actually determine your pulse. You just hold it in your hand, like at this distance. Okay. Center your face and just mm -hmm. tap the center of the screen. Now this should take around 15 seconds to, to get a measurement. Oh, oh, mine went up to 94. When I first got elevated. here, I was like, it's you. Yeah, maybe. Or the flu. After going through a few of these technologies, I realized I might need to watch my blood pressure and maybe even my heart rate. Then, of course, there's the genetic testing I did with 23andMe, which could tell me if I'm at risk for things like diabetes or even cancer. There can be downsides to knowing all about your health, but hey, at least you know.